Introduction videos are a great way to introduce your business to your customers in a clean and organized and entertaining way. If you've been following our other Creative Zone episodes, you get a chance to see how to properly write, how to structure your introduction video, how to record it, how to present yourself and your business in the best way possible. Today, we're going to part three, where I'm gonna teach you how to edit and upload your video to social media. My name is James Martin from Magic Cut Media Promotion and welcome to the Creative Zone. Okay, so the first part I want to just quickly go over is the editing. Now, if you watched our recording video, I taught you about two different ways you can go about shooting your introduction video. One, you can either do it in one solid take, which basically means you don't have to do any editing. It's all done, it's in one clip, then you can just go straight to the uploading. But maybe you've uh, put it together in separate clips. So how do you put it together? You can go on your computer and your laptop and there are loads of different softwares you can download for cheap or for free. If you want to do something basic, uh, if you have a computer or a laptop, they'll already come with pre-software stuff like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. Now, what if you don't have access to a computer or a laptop or you don't know where to get these things? Or maybe your computer or laptop just don't have these, so these softwares or programs. Your phones can also have them as well. Now, depending on the phone that you have depends on the software you'll be using. Every phone there comes with free software that you can use to edit together multiple clips together. Uh, if you're using an iPhone, there's going to be iMovie that you can download. Uh, if you're using Samsung, there's a software called Action Director. If you're using Blackberry, it comes with its own software as well. All of these are free. There are numerous different programs and apps that you can use for free to edit together your clips. Uh, do some Google searching. Find something that you're comfortable with and works effectively for you. Next is just touching up, fixing the color, fixing the brightness, maybe adding a filter, maybe adding stuff on top. You can find these in several apps, not just editing apps, but you can find apps on your phone, you can get programs on your computers or your laptops that will allow you to add colors, allow text, explore that, find ways on how to bring out the best in your video. There are numerous different ways that you can go about this, depends on the computer, depends on the phone. But listen, if you want me to go into specifics, you want me to do some exploring for you and find some really good apps and software, please let me know down in the comments. Next is you want to add some music. Music really does help. It sets the tone. It lets everyone know what your business is about just from feeling and listening to the music. Editing in Instagram. when you Before you even post a video onto Instagram, whether it's just posting to your main site or in stories, you do have the option to edit it. Now, when you're posting a story, it will automatically cut it down to 30 seconds or a minute long. When you're posting a video to Instagram, it can't be any longer than one entire minute, but you do have the option to trim it down. It helps you trim, it helps you fix the coloring, it helps you um, find a cover photo, add filters. If you're posting it to your Instagram stories, you can also add text, use color, add stickers, add markers. And here's a key little trick here. Do your video in stories, but before you publish it, save it to your phone. Don't publish it, and that way you have your video, it has all the text and everything included, and it's already done, and then you can post it to your Instagram or whatever sites you use. That way you're getting the full advantage of all the editing options that it gives you. Uploading to Facebook. So this is very, very simple. You can go to your page, you can go straight to the video section, press upload, and click the video that you want, immediately upload it to your Facebook, add a title, add a description, add your keywords. Keywords are extremely important. Add a, uh, a cover photo and you're good to go. Press publish or you can schedule it for a later time and then it'll publish it on that given time. Um, you can also go straight to your pages, go straight to your post and attach a video inside a post. It's gonna go through the exact same process. It's still gonna end up on your video's feed. Depends on what you wanna do with it and where you want to prefer uploading your videos. Last but not least is YouTube. So you can upload to YouTube straight from your phone, straight from your computer, whichever one you want. All you have to do is go, if you're on your computer, go to the top right corner, click the upload button, and it's gonna go through the process. If you go to your phone, same thing. You're gonna go to the upload button, grab your video from your phone, upload straight to YouTube. Add a title, add a subscription, add keywords. Now remember, the keywords on YouTube will also apply to Google. 
add it to a playlist, find yourself a good thumbnail to use, and then publish it away. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you'd like to request for other tutorials, please let me know in the comments below. Please let me know your thoughts, your ideas. Did we explain something clearly enough or do you need more explanation on some other stuff? Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the box down below and that way you don't ever miss a video that gets uploaded like our tutorials, our vlogs, or other stuff that we upload to our channel. You can also go to our website at www.matchcutmedia.com for more information. And until next time, get creative and we'll see you back in the creative zone.